Hello my lovelies. I am at my family home and I'm reminded of the quote, if you think you're enlightened, try spending a week with your family. Yeah, it's that time of year where any of us who might have scars from the past that haven't quite healed when it comes to family, uh, they get reopened again. Some of us are a bit sensitive this time of year. Scratch that. Many of us, <laughs> most of us are sensitive this time of year especially if you've come out of a relationship this time of year can be quite depressing if you feel down in the dumps if you feel alone if you feel lonely it can suck so i'm gonna try and make some inspirational videos when it comes to uh, christmas time and how to deal with family or how to deal with being alone this time of year i myself i'm not really a christmasy person for me i can't stand I can't stand Christmas music. So one thing that irritates me the most, I enjoy the food. I enjoy like spending time with loved ones to an extent, but oh my God, hearing the same crappy Christmas music on repeat every year, for me, it's it, it creates a lot of anxiety in me. So right now, now I'm planning, <laughs> I'm planning how to handle this. I know this is going to trigger me to just getting angry, very irritated. And I'm tempted to drink a lot more and I don't want to feel hungover the next day. I'm not really a big alcohol person. So for me, I'm planning on how to deal with this. I'm also planning on uh, thinking about particular triggers that might happen and planning on how to deal with them in advance. This is something that I've started doing with certain family events that might be a bit triggering for me and it actually works. It works to come in prepared and to have a toolbox of sorts ready. So how about you guys? Do you have a toolbox that you have for dealing with Christmas issues? What's the one thing that really helps you? Um, let me know your thoughts below. And until next time, bye.